So we got Adobe Premiere Pro where I'm going to show it in. We got Sony Vegas where I'm going to show you guys in how to do it. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually filter out the background in OBS Studio. Chroma key here, click on add. You will see that this is just perfectly filtered out. And that's what you want. There's probably no reduction at all. Yo guys, it is Chase. Welcome to this brand new video here on this channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use a green screen. But this is not only a green screen. Just have a look at the fact that this is a green and a blue screen. Look at this. Just have a look around. Okay, see, I'm gonna show you guys the back of this thing. It's actually blue and it's green. So it has two different sides. So my green screen is actually standing on an eye rolling bar because I just wanted to lift it up only a little bit. That's actually the only reason. So look, don't look at all the mess. Uh, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to explain you guys how to actually choose between a blue or a green screen. What are the differences? So to even choose between a green or a blue screen, you have to know what is up. What is actually happening when you're using a green screen. The thing you do is actually you filter out the back key. Most of you guys will probably already know that. So you're keying out the background or you're filtering out the background. You're actually choosing one specific color in the background that's going to be filtered out. So for example, I've got a green screen, but what would happen if my eyes are green as well? My eyes would get filtered out as well. So if I got like, I've got like blue eyes, mostly blue. So I would have to use a green screen because if I use a blue screen, I would filter out the blue key, like the blue color in the background would also filter out the color in my eyes. So we just be transparent like here and there. So it would look really, really weird. And that's actually how you have to choose. Uh, if you got brown eyes, doesn't really matter. If you got brown eyes, you can use a blue and a green screen. So you don't really have to choose. Um, if you got brown eyes, I would think like, what do I wear mostly? Do I wear blue shirts or do I wear a lot of green shirts for some reason? Like YouTubers have merchandise and like, a green color or blue color so they can't really choose which green screen they want to use so those are all combinations you guys have to know now we're going for the next step which is the lightning for your green screen actually I've got two lights right over there behind my desk those are soft boxes this one is actually my fill light and this one is my key light so if I turn these off I can show you guys what they do let me just turn these off for you guys so I'm sitting here right now, I'm pretty dark, you guys see it. This one is my left light, this is my fill light. It fills the left side of my face. And this is my key light and it fills the right side of my face. Um, what happens is, of course, I'm completely like bright. So it actually looks perfect. But there's one thing you have to keep in mind. This thing also creates a shadow on your green or blue screen in the back. So how do you want to involve that? You actually need a backlight. Most people would put their backlight like, like right over there all the way up uh, because it's really smart. If you do that, norm normally people do that. I don't really have place for that. So if you do that, it actually shines from the back of your, of your green screen to the back of your chair, of the back of your head. And it kind of like creates a natural stroke of light around you. That's why it's like really, really easy for the computer to key out your face because it's like separates you from the background a lot. So beside those two lamps, I'm using a small desk lamp, which is right over here. I'm actually using this one to key myself out. Uh, it creates, it creates that like natural stroke around me only a little bit, mostly from the right, but it's actually kind of shining in my back. If I go all the way to the back, you will see that there is actually shadow here. If I put my hand like too close, but I'm much further away, so the, so the light is actually shining like behind me. So there's no shadow at all, and uh, I can just perfectly key myself out. And that's everything you guys needed to know, and now we're diving in the computer. I'm back on the computer right now. I'm actually going to show you guys how to use the green screen in the edit software and also in OBS Studio. So we got Adobe Premiere Pro where I'm going to show it in. We got Sony Vegas where I'm going to show you guys in how to do it. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually filter out the background in OBS Studio, how to use these effects. Uh, we got some files right here. Those are just the vloggy kind of things that I just filmed. Uh, explaining you guys what you need to know about green screens before 
going to the edit and uh, I will see you guys when this thing is uh, completed Okay, so now we are in Sony Vegas and I'm gonna just drop the clip right here, which I just shot. It's the vloggy clip um, Then we also need a picture for the background. So let me just pause my hat somewhere where I look completely insane Yeah, like like this one right here. Then we just pick uh, We've got like this image We've got the cheese image. Uh, we have to put it in the back, of course, because we want to replace the background. How do you do that? Make sure you add an effect video event FX, which means video effect over here. Chroma key here. Click on add. Click on OK. You add the chroma key here to the video and the background is just an image. So now you have to select a color which you want to use so we're selecting the color of the green screen which pretty much just looks all the same um, then we are going to drag this around this around and that around <laughs> until it looks good that's what most people do most people don't really know what everything means you like kind of you kind of see what it does you know so I'm dragging this around this creates like some kind of blur or some kind of shadow around me which maybe I need a little bit Not so much. It looks pretty ugly Maybe it can't go for like 0.014, but that's pretty much everything I can do with that and then we Drag this around until we are still 100% Visible yes I'm gonna drag this clip around from that to that And now you will see everywhere where I, where I'm at the background, the green screen, is the cheese. It place it over there. Is the cheese image? Okay, we're start playing it right now. You see, it's perfectly. We're perfectly out of the picture. The green is perfectly out. Like in every second, it's for for Sony Vegas. This is already like a huge effect for Adobe Premiere. It just runs it way better, I would say. Uh, there's some lines around me that you have to fix using. The effect um, right here you can just try, try and make it even better maybe even blur it a little bit more out like just play around with these settings I'm not really used to this program anymore so I don't really work with that anymore uh, but that, that's how you do it so first I'm going to show you guys the effect and then I'm going to show you guys how to actually place yourself on the right position uh, so right now we have to put a filter on here so we go to the, the camera I click there or here I uh, use a filter we already have this chroma key filter which is perfect but we want to make a new one so make sure you add a chroma key call this one chroma key number two so perfectly got it there chroma key number two everything is set all right but we don't want that we just drag everything to the left because um, this is a tutorial I, I want to explain what I'm doing it's basically playing around with settings but I still want to explain what I'm doing. So you see me here in the back. You get the first one right here. You actually select the color. I got a green screen, so I'm going to go with green. Start dragging it up. You can't like go like this. Lo, 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 lo. Hello, hello. Because you like, you won't even see me anymore. And if I do it like this, it looks like my, my teeth are like really dirty. But you have to like find a right balance to actually fix this because the hair in my like on the back here of my head is it just looks really green I, I, I have to get rid of that and um, like around my chair everything looks pretty normal so make sure you don't do this that you like pixelate yourself of course with the white headset is really easy to see but don't make sure you're not pixelating yourself like this oh not even a little bit just find the right balance in, at first then you can go to the smoothness um, I actually like put this not really high because it like pixelate everything. I don't really use that too much. Only only a little bit. And I've got the last thing, which is key color spill reduction. Is actually just the color in the video. Like basically, if you put it over here, it's like black white, kinda. Still looks a little brown though, but that's actually removing all the colors out. So uh, if you look at my hair right now, it's pretty green. If I put this on a little bit, you can see it's not green anymore and you don't really 
notice the difference but now i'm like full screen you see it works the background is that uh, i could just put like a different image on there and now we got fortnite in the back you don't really notice it only a little bit you see the reduction here on like the hair which uh, if i just remove this hat it's probably there's probably no reduction at all um so the thing we have to do is make uh, make myself a little smaller and right now i'm really big so you use control track me down like this uh, I can just place myself over here But when I move around you will see my hand gets cut off at the corners I don't really have to move around that much So if you want to be sure that like for example, I've got this stroke right here this stripe I Wanted it like that because it looks kind of professional, but you have to be on the stroke This looks really weird. You see I, I'm cut up uh, right over here. Sorry I had the thing right over there. I'm cut up so what you want to do is uh, make yourself a little smaller. Oh, don't move everything around, please. Oh, please stop. Make yourself a little smaller while using control. Place yourself on here. And that's perfect. You just place this in the corner. Uh, what, you also, what you can also do uh, if you want to like make these things a little short, you can use Alt to cut out like this. So the video won't be 920 by 1080 anymore, for example. You can just do that on every side. It shows up green. And uh, this can also be very useful if you're like a little bit over this line and you want to drag yourself right there so it never makes that mistake. Okay, so now we are in Adobe Premiere. I'm going to show you guys how to remove the background now. Because like you see, the, the background is like almost totally green. Like There's like a corner here but don't look at that right now because normally we just film yourself in front of the green screen but uh, this is just me uh, uh this is just me the footage where i'm explaining you guys how to actually work with the green screen like you see right here i'm just going to the beginning because it looks pretty decent uh what you want to do is go to effects and type in key you will just find all the keys right here i'm using an ultra key i put it on my footage and you go to your effect controls to check out what kind of effects you actually used on the video you have to click on the video to see what kind of controls are in here so don't misclick it because it will not be anything you have to click on the video okay so that's very important uh, now you have to select a key color we're just selecting the background as the key color and you see the, the background is already pretty much removed uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of effects in this effect so there are a lot of things to play with uh, I mostly just play with uh, the saturation, which is actually the color in the video. Uh, this was a 100. <laughs> I just play around with that because I don't want to look too grainy. And um, the most important things are just the things up here. So the tr transparency, like here, uh, you just have to drag this up or down. Actually, you have to play with this a lot. You see the highlight is really important. So I'm just drag this out. There will be some pixels in there as well. Can lower the shadow there are a lot of things to play with uh, the most important thing to look at is that uh, this is totally gone there are not too many pixels in here and there are not too many pixels on your face and that your hair is not green that's most most of the time that's like the basics you look at when you're doing this so let me play this video right here See, it's not like perfectly done and how I can actually show that better because it's uh, black. It's black right now all the way in the back. So I just put this uh, cheese image. So if you just go all the way to the beginning, you will see that this is just perfectly filtered out. And that's what you want. So of course you have to be like full frame in, uh, in a green screen background. But uh, this is actually how I have to do it in Adobe Premiere. If this video did really, really help you out, you know what to do. Give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below to this channel to help me out. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial on this channel. This was Cheese. Peace.